Today we're going to set up a landing page within Swipe Pages with the goal of capturing an email address and we're going to integrate that email address with our autoresponder which we're using Sendfox which is a one-time solution $49 link down in the description supports the channel if you're tired of the high monthly payments and you have a small list and you don't need a lot but you need an autoresponder everyone needs an autoresponder click the link and help support the channel I'm not going to promote anymore I'm going to jump into the video which we're going to just log into our swipe pages account and get started so I already have one created uh, but ultimately, you can create a new page, you can go through. I'm going to just assume that you can get to the point that you're ready to set up and actually integrate your email address. So I'm going to open up this page and I'm going to show you what I've done. Again, it's very basic. I just wanted to streamline this and save a little bit of time. So I've added a couple of images here. We've got some text. And what you'll see is there's no form, there's no buttons, there's no nothing uh, of the like. So instead, what we're actually going to do is create a quick form to capture the email address. So up in the top left corner under modules, we're going to click that and we're going to navigate to form and we're going to drag that in where we want it. Now it's going to default to first name, last name, phone number. We don't need any of that stuff. I'm just going to delete everything and we're going to click add field. And then under the actual fields button, we're going to select email. So now we have our submit button and we have our email. We need to give it a label, in which case we can say, what's your best email? And then if we wanted any placeholder text, we could type that in there. I don't think we need it. Uh, we are going to make this required, and then we're going to jump over to style. And actually what I'm going to do is instead back to fields, let's actually just click the submit button, and then it's going to bring up our styling elements as well as what to do after submission. So under style, I'm going to come down here to colors. I'm going to change my primary color. We'll just go to black because that's going to be the border color of the actual box. So for our colors, we want our field text color to be a, a dark color. And then we want the field background. Let's go ahead and make the field background like a, a little bit of an off, like a gray or so. So then you type it in. Make sure it all looks good. This looks pretty good. What's your best email? We've got our description. We've got our title. We've got some images on the page. Now we need to tell this form what to do once they enter the email address. So we're gonna come up here to submission and we're just gonna redirect to a thank you page or we're gonna give them the lead magnet. So specifically here, we could redirect them to aiprivates.com slash whatever. Uh, or we could just have a blanket thank you message. Uh, I would definitely recommend setting up a thank you page. I'll make a separate video on it when I set this up uh, and I'll leave a link up there. As well as, by the way, I wanna point out that you can make multi-step forms with swipe pages, which is really nice. And I'm gonna make a separate video on that as well. Uh, however, this is the submission. We're just gonna have it say, thank you for signing up and we'll go ahead and click save so at this point we've got our form we've got our page it's pretty much ready to publish and then we need to go in and actually make sure that it adds to our autoresponder so i'm going to click publish and i'm going to publish it on my own domain we're going to go with the review.aiprofits.com domain we're just going to leave this blank because i need something as my main uh, subdomain review.aiprofits.com this is where when I review swipe pages, I'm going to have this swipe pages page, which I've already created, uh, and the different products that I review. We will, <laughs> we will click publish, and oh my gosh, I can't talk today. And uh, now it should be published. So we'll come to an incognito window. We'll say review.aiprofits.com, and we'll just make sure that it works. And it looks like it does work. So I'm going to minimize that for now and we're going to jump back out to the dashboard within swipe pages and we're going to set up our integration. So this is the site that we just set up. We're going to jump to analytics. We can see all of our analytics. I just went to the site. That's the one unique visit. Then we can come in here to our leads. We can see the leads as we capture them. Uh, if you're working with realtors, for example, it's a good uh, habit to send them the lead instantly or to forward this uh, and then have Zapier do some fancy stuff with it. We're just gonna integrate with SendFox here. 
And if you've never set Synfox up before, then I'm gonna open up a different page and I'm gonna take you to the integrations. So these are the current integrations. I've already integrated my Synfox account uh, and then Zapier and Integromat will let you pretty much integrate with anything. Uh, maybe I'll make a separate video on that in the future. I've just got to think about the ways that I need to use that first. Uh, so once you set this up, which is as easy as clicking this and then logging into your MailChimp account, uh, you'll come back to your page under integrations and you should see it right here. Now here we're just going to click send Fox. We're going to select our account. We'll click continue and then we're going to select our list, which we have a separate list just for this AI profits reviews. We'll hit continue and then we're going to go ahead and map it. So we're going to map the email here. We're going to click continue and now it's finished. So now it is all set up. Our integration is going. And if we want to fire off this email, then we can do that as well. So let's go ahead and fire it off. I'll just do, we'll come from this email address, which is my local business, and we'll send it to the AI profits one. So here, I'm just going to leave this as is, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now we click save. So now every time we collect a new email address, AI profits will get an email and it's going to come from my business. Uh, and then it's going to also funnel into the SendFox account. Uh, so let's test this thing out, make sure everything works. And uh, hopefully this video has brought you some value. If it has hit the like button. So here we go. We are on our page. Let's go ahead and refresh it for good measure. So that'll give us a second visit. And then let's enter in uh, an email address. So I'm just going to enter in my email address and I'm going to go ahead and click sign me up. Thank you for signing up. That's what it said. Now, I would recommend redirecting. Uh, I think that's very, very important. And uh, again, I'll make a separate video on that in the future as I set mine up. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta lead by example. So now let's jump into our SendFox account. We are on our AI Profits reviews list. We had zero subscribers. Now we have one, just like that. It was instantaneous and it added it to the list. Now let's check our email addresses. And within our email, we have received an email. You have a new lead. This is from me. Again, scott at rocketstripe.com. Hi, a prospect is joined. And then it's gonna give the name of the page as well as the variant. So we'll get into variants and all of that in a future video. Uh, but essentially we can A-B test this and we can see which variant works best. Uh, so that you can also share with your clients which landing page is working best uh, for their campaigns. So I think this is pretty good. Uh, at the end of the day, Swipe Pages is truly a fantastic tool. In my opinion, this is, you know, pro level. Uh, I'm no pro, so how would I know? But I'm impressed uh, thoroughly by this. It's only got four days left as a, the recording of this video in the AppSumo store. If you want to support the channel, there is a link down in the description if you want to pick up the product uh, greatly appreciate it uh, you've probably already picked it up if you're watching this video but subscribe to the channel that's my last call to action for you i'm gonna get out of here hopefully this video has brought you some value hit the like button if it has and leave a comment down below if you want to see anything have any feedback etc and i'll see you in the next one my name is scott with aiprofits.com have a fantastic day take care